Hello guys, welcome to Mtech Viral. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how can you monetize your Android application so that you can have ads in your uh, application. And uh, many of you requested me for doing this tutorial and that's why I'm doing it. And uh, the main purpose of making this tutorial is that uh, I want it to be simplest so that uh, anybody can understand it. So right now uh, I'm using Android Studio uh, as you know so uh, um, there might be a confusion about this id because i am using some theming here so don't get confused with the colors and all and the overall structure so what i have done i have moved the uh, project structure from left to right and i have done some theming with colors so that's it so uh, we will start by uh, talking about what is monetization and of course i'm not talking about demonetization here so press like for this dialogue so monetization is basically when uh, you want to earn from your app so what you do uh, you have definitely seen uh, some ads in uh, some applications so those ads are basically because uh, uh, those people those developers have monetized their application so that's why uh, you see the, uh, those ads there the same thing we will do here and uh, we will have uh, ads as well so they are basically two kind of ads so first one is banner ad and second one is interstitial ad banner ads are those uh, you know you have seen in the bottom of the screen and basically height is you can say one by tenth of the screen and uh, interstitial ads are those which covers uh, the entire screen of your application and uh, they can come in the form of video or image so you have already seen this i am sure so we will do the same thing and i am going to follow the simplest approach so what is that approach so basically what we will do we will use uh, firebase for this purpose so what you have to do so i have made the application uh, this is the simplest one which uh, you get by default when you create new application through android studio if you are unaware of that then you can check my other videos where i have started the android journey so i'll, I'll also uh, put the link in the description so this is uh, what the main activity looks like this has nothing there will be a java class and uh, in the res folder uh, resources folder in the layout the, you have this uh, uh, main activity class uh, the name of the application is odemo and uh, there is no sense of uh, naming this as odemo so don't uh, think about it so what we have to do so this is our main activity what we will do you will go to the uh, top bar of your android studio and then uh, you will find tools uh, there if you are using um, mac os then uh, the, the screen will look like the uh, same and if you are using some other os then uh, there might be some changes so you have to just uh, uh, go to tools and then you will find an option of firebase you have to click on that option and it will open assistant in the right uh, hand of your screen and here you can see all the features of firebase here so what we will do we will go to add mob which is the bottom one and we will click there and uh, what's written here is that on from your apps the smart way by showing ads from millions of google advertiser so what uh, uh, companies do companies approaches google and uh, tell them that uh, they want to show uh, ads uh, uh, in the uh, in google platform so and google uh, shows the ad in your applications so there is some margin uh, which is divided uh, into two parts one part is taken by google and another part is given to you so that is all about ads so uh, what uh, uh, written here is that add a banner ad to your app so by default you can add the banner ad to your application by following this so we will follow this and this is quite easy you don't have to do anything so i'll click on it and you can see there are few steps here so we will uh, start from first step so connect to firebase we will click on it and uh, you can see starting connect dialog so, so what it is written here that create a new firebase project and i have uh, signed in as mtechviral at gmail.com if you want to sign it uh, with another account then you can go to the uh, top right corner which is uh, this logo you can see here uh, this is not clickable right now because I have this pop-up here so I'll just uh, cancel this pop-up and now I will click here and you can see that this is my account and I can change it uh, or I can add more accounts here so this is all about it so I'll again press the connect to firebase and it will uh, again 
show me that dialog and we'll wait for it so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, i have already so many projects but uh, right now what i am going to do i am going to create a new firebase project if that will be available for me because uh, there are some restriction with firebase uh, so you can only have few uh, projects there so let's try it so it is starting project creation and uh, it will definitely create a project for me and uh, i am waiting for it so for the time being let me tell you that uh, a uh, banner very easily you can integrate but for interstitial app i will suggest that if you are um, a new developer or you have do you don't have so much crowd in your application then don't go for interstitial ads because uh, uh, they might be very you know annoying for the users and they will definitely going to uninstall your application so uh, my firebase project created and connected locally to module app so it it's connected and we will add admob to our application admob is a google platform there are some google services dependency as well and firebase uh, dependency so i'll accept changes and what it will do it will add some dependencies automatically into my android application so uh, i have to go to build.gradle and you can see some of dependencies has been added here and uh, which is and uh, one more thing uh, i forgot to tell you that i am using the preview version which is the beta uh, version of Android Studio 3.0. So uh, it may be possible that uh, some things are different from your uh, stable one because if you uh, remember uh, build old Gradle from the stable one, then you uh, you know already that when we add a dependency, we write compile and uh, the name of the dependency. But uh, in the new update, it uh, things have changed. Uh, the no new concept of implementation and API has come. So this is how it looks like and I'll make a video on it as well if uh, that will be some requirement so it's saying that uh, I can update uh, this uh, uh, newer version is available so I'm not going to do it right now so we have done two tasks and uh, uh, we will do the another one so the third one is add a banner ad to your layout file so this is our banner ad so I'll, I'll just copy it so I have copied it and I'm going to go to activity main here and this is uh, how my activity looks like right now so uh, right now I don't have any relative layout as well so let me do one thing I'll, I'll just change it from uh, uh, constraint layout to relative layout we'll just delete this thing from here and write relative layout so this is fine I guess and now we will uh, paste that particular thing so as we have already the uh, dependencies there so what we have to do we just have to write the declarations and uh, we have the declaration and it is asking for banner add unit id so right now i don't have that and you can see this ads by google is on the bottom which is the uh, uh, proper way of doing with the banner ads and it has asked you in the uh, layout that it is its ad size is equal to banner and you can change it as interstitial so uh, what we will do now we will go to the assistant again and uh, we have followed it very well so fourth thing is that load the ad in the activity so you have done the ad view part which is basically the view of the ad now you have to load the ad so you need two things first of all we will copy these lines and we will paste it here so I'll press alt plus enter and it will add the import and again I am going to do is uh, copying some few more lines so like this and uh, again you have to import so this is how you will do it so so it is saying that I am missing on permission if you will see here missing permission required by so uh, we uh, if we want to show ad so we need the internet permission in our application so it was the basic application right now so it doesn't have any permission so what we will do we will click on this uh, red bulb here and we will add permission internet so we are good to go so we have done four steps and one last one is there which is showing my string with my banner add unit id 
which was showing error in the uh, my XML. So I'll just uh, uh, go to the well, my project, go to the values folder, and I'll go to strings folder and just paste it here. So now if we will go to the activity main section, then there is my banner ad uh, and uh, it's not showing any kind of error so now i am going to run this application into my phone and uh, so i have my samsung phone here proceed without instant run so we are getting a, an ad here in the bottom and it's saying that nice job you are displaying a 320 by 50 test ad from admob and it's working perfectly and uh, why it is a test ad so let's go to our application we will go to the locket and we will write ads write capital a and ads and here you can see what actually happened so first of all it's starting the ad request then another line is that you can use this particular line to add this device as your test device and right now it is not showing ad because uh, there is a reason so because we have added this dependency just a uh, uh, few minutes back and uh, it takes some time by google to actually authorize it then only uh, your ads uh, will start to come so you have done everything great you don't have to worry about every anything and it will take some time maximum time period is 24 hours and and your ads will appear here and uh, here it is so you have done the good job i hope that this tutorial was very easy for you and if you like this tutorial then please subscribe to this channel and share this video like the video and comment if you have any questions thank you so much